I'm often asked about growing Leland and cypress trees in, in partial shade. So I have an example here of a Leland and cypress set of trees that were planted in a partial shade environment. Uh, this is late afternoon sunlight hitting these trees and they're only getting it from this one section in the westerly direction in the late afternoon. During the morning hours and the afternoon hours this area is covered by this honey locust and this red maple and uh, because of that this the tree will grow well on the side that gets the most light. So as you can see on these trees on the side closest to these big overhanging trees the tree is starting to be a little bit bare. It's still putting out about two to two and a half feet of growth per year but a bare spot is definitely noted here and you can see on the back side of this tree that it's a lopsided tree. It's going to grow best on the side where it's going to get most of the sunlight. And this is typical of what these trees will do in the shade. This is a, a this is location here is considered half day sun. And as you get out further away from the underlying canopy of the tree, the tree will be growing just a little bit more robustly. And you can see there is a difference between the two trees. They were both the same height when planted three years ago. These were in a number seven pot. And the tree that is further out into the open is performing a little bit better and a little bit fuller and thicker up top. The other tree underneath more of the shade is a little bit lighter and more open and wispy. But yet the tree does grow here in the shade. This is considered half shade. So if you don't mind the tree being open and you can see how open they are in the shade that's the way this tree is going to grow. Now you can hold them back by trimming and trimming will help make them more dense and compact but you're still not going to get away from this open side on one side where there's more sunlight. In fact that may, may make the, the uh, barren side more pronounced in being barren. Again we sell all these trees in many sizes. This is about a 10, 10 to 12 foot size tree and we sell them from 3 foot up to 14 foot and we do deliver plant these all up and down the east coast. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. We're here at Highland Hill Farm and this is my wife Marge. This is a six foot stake. This is what we're going to use to create a property line of Leland cypresses. These are our four to five foot Leland cypresses. And what we're going to do is show you how to, to, to to make a hedgerow with these Leland cypresses and space them properly to get a good windbreak. Now they can be spaced from 6 to 12 feet apart. We're going to just give a little demonstration here of how we set up a 6 foot spacing. First of all, we've taken some stakes and put them in the ground where we want to have the trees. You're going to usually put this tree about 5 feet away from a property line or or some obstacle like a driveway or think something like that where you want to have your windbreak and hedge. You put two stakes in the ground and you put a string down in between the two stakes. Then you can use other things like flags or stakes or things like that to mark where you're going to put the trees. What we do is we use a six foot post here. She sets the post down on the ground at the beginning. She sprays that. That's her first one. and sprays the next one sprays right on the dead center of the line okay now when you dig you'll be able to just dig a hole first using that center space dig a hole right around the hole where the, where the white paint is Okay, now what we do is we take this string away and place the trees where we're going to have them. These are very fast growing. These are on sale to the end of this month.
And that's about what the spacing will look like at six foot. And as you can see, there's gaps there. The gaps are there because the tree needs space to grow. Now you can mulch down along that line, or if you want to get better fill, you can create a second row by taking one tree and doing another line and staggering it so that the trees are about six foot apart. And then you'll have an even tighter packing when you visually look at the trees. This gives you enough room to mow up and down the strips and yet enough room for the tree to continue to grow. And uh, these trees grow very fast, up to three feet a year. We have tens of thousands of them here, here at Highland Hill Farm. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. This is a close-up of foliage of a Leland Cypress. Leland Cypress foliage is one of the nicest colors you can have in your landscape. It's considered to be a bluish green. And if you look at the stems, you can see the stems here that are being formed have a little bit of a purple cast to them. This is an actively growing plant. It's actively growing at this time of the year. And it's probably growing pretty near a half an inch a day. It's really pushing out some real rapid growth. These are growing rapidly because we have a drip water system on them. And you can see the drip lines down in there. And they're fed to different zones through a controller. And we can just turn one zone on. Or off. These are our three-foot Leland cypresses at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville. We have some four-footers and five-footers here. We also sell them bald and burlapped. We're located on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We're approximately a mile and a half from Doylestown in Bucks County. And here's some more trees and shrubs and plants that we grow here at Highland Hill Farm. And down yonder you see a bunch of trees and shrubs. There's some beautiful roses here today. With these just nice colors, vivid color, colors to them. Here's a beautiful orange colored rose. We're located on Route 313 in Fountainville. This is our main office. We have a couple hundred acres here in Fountainville, and we have a couple thousand acres in Bradford County, Bucks County, Bradford County, Pennsylvania. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.